Have you ever heard the story of George Washington chopping down a cherry tree and admitting when he was caught? I cannot tell a lie. Do you know the origin of this often told tale and how it was perceived at the time? Mason Locke Weems, who lived from 1759 to 1825, first published the narrative in 1800 in his book, The Life and Memorable Actions of George Washington. Weems, also known as Parson Weems, worked as a pastor in Anne Arundel County, Maryland until 1792. Afterward, he traveled throughout the country as an agent for Philadelphia publisher Matthew Carey, selling books door to door. The cherry tree fiction, according to the Encyclopedia Britannica, was added to the fifth edition of Weems's book. Weems frequently preached as a guest while traveling. Quote, in 1808, Parson Weems was here, writes Reverend James Wiltbank of St. Peter's Episcopal in Lewis. He certainly was very clever. I do not think he was a clergyman, notwithstanding his story about the Bishop of London having ordained him. If he had been ordained, he could have shown his credentials, his letters of orders from the Bishop of London, end quote. As a matter of fact, the Church of England did ordain Weems in 1784. Reverend Wiltbank goes on to say, His life of George Washington was a household work for many years. It is the only source for the famous story of the hatchet and the cherry tree, because these incidents have no other recorder than Weems. They have been ridiculed and denied by even historical writers. How did the Parson's charming story manage to survive to this day, despite the scorn heaped on him by his contemporaries? The answer lies with publisher William Holmes McGuffey who included the cherry tree and the hatchet tale in his widely circulated grammar school textbook, The McGuffey Reader, from 1836 until the early 20th century.